Hi, my name is Grace. This is Bird by Bookish Bird, and I'm going to talk about the five books that I read in February. First book of the month was Open Water by Caleb Azuma Nelson. New favorite. I thought it was beautiful. It's about two black Londoners that fall in love. Gorgeous love story. Beautiful writing. Really talks about love and race and what it is to be black in London and falling in love and it was just so gorgeous. I said this in my last reading vlog but it really feels like falling in love with your friend. Like when that line between friend and more than friend gets crossed and you're like wait a second what's going on. It was like that. So it's a short read. I would highly, highly, highly recommend it. Gorgeous. Next, I read Hanif Abdurraqib's They Can't Kill Us Until They Kill Us. This is a collection of essays about pop culture and race and lots and lots of music of all different genres and categories and artists. And I thought it was great. I was able to listen to the audiobook along with reading the book. I did them both at the same time, which I've really been enjoying lately, and I thought it was a great experience. Um, there are also some extra, the audiobook was recorded, I think in 21, 20 or 21, and this was written in 2017. And so you, with the audiobook, you actually get some insight into Hanif and like where he's changed his mind on some things and just a little editorial comments. And I thought that was really interesting, so I would recommend the audiobook. But this really, if you liked like the emo alt punk scene and like the late aughts in the 2000s, late aughts, early 2010s, you would really love this. If you're a fan of rap, you would really love this. Um, I think any lover of music, pop culture, yeah, it's just really, really good. Next, I read The Friend by Sigrid Nunez which I really enjoyed. I read it in um, one of my reading vlogs. It, content warning for this one, it does uh, talk about suicide pretty heavily and suicidality. So if you don't wanna hear about that, you can um, scrub through to the next book. But in this book, our unnamed narrator has a friend who uh, passes away and leaves their dog um, with, with the narrator. And it is all about the friendship that was lost, um, but also this new friendship and relationship that she develops with her new dog. And really the gift of animal companionship while navigating grief. Also talks a lot about writing. Our, our narrator is a writer. So a lot of conversations about what it means to write, why we write. And I thought it was great. It was another, I think it's like less than 200 pages. It was another great short read. I really enjoyed it and I did um, love, I loved the character arc from like the reluctant parental figure or so like at first your narrator starts out like really apprehensive about the dog and kind of resentful of the dog and then there's just this arc of like love and it was really sweet so that was a good one. After that, I read Delphi by Claire Pollard. Just as pandemic of a novel as you can get, it is about set in 2020. Pandemic happens. This woman is stuck at home with her son and her husband. Her son, who she has a really hard time connecting with, her husband, who she doesn't really like. <laughs> and you just go through the beginning stages of the pandemic. And then when you're in the thick of it and you're going to visit your grandma by sitting in her front yard. I mean, it was just all of that. I don't know how much I enjoy pandemic novels. I've also read Station Eleven and I just didn't love that one as much. I think, I don't know. It just, it kind of fell flat for me, um, Delphi did. I did appreciate, so I'll go back. The main premise of the book is our narrator is like a classic scholar. She's like a translator for ancient texts, I believe, but the whole book is broken up into different forms, like each chapter is kind of through the lens of like a different way of predicting the future or like prophecy. So the the title Delphi is a reference to the Oracle of Delphi in like ancient Greece and Greek mythology. And so there's like 
uh, so each chapter is, I can't think, I don't have the book with me, it was a library book, so I can't think of an example right now, but it was like tarot card reading or prophecy by sticks or prophecy by smoke or prophecy by XYZ. So I thought that that was really interesting and that probably was that element of it, the like mythology antiquity element of it is probably what kept me reading it. I think if it was just a pandemic, I think if it was just the narrative of the pandemic, I probably would have DNF'd it. Um, it's not very long, but I would recommend it. I said this in my other video, but if you like kind of unhappy family dynamics, if you like women that don't like being mothers, if you like, if you want to relive the pandemic, that might be a good option for you. And then the last book I read in February was The Love Songs of W.E.B. Du Bois by Honoré Fanon Jeffers. And I thought this was exquisite. I thought it was just excellent. It is almost 800 pages. Um, so it was quite a chunky read, but you are following Ailey and all of her family, the opposite of descendants. I don't know the word. So not the people that came after her, but the people that came before her and her family tree. So it's like home going on steroids. It's like very, very detailed, in-depth look of her Afro-Indigenous roots, of her roots in slavery, of her roots all across the South. And it was gorgeous. Some really difficult content. So I would check the, warn the content warnings, the trigger warnings, because there were some parts that were very disturbing and really hard to read. But I do think it is an important story Think it's important to bear witness to especially in terms of like the history of our nation and our history with slavery um, and stolen land so yeah it's just really good i totally get how intimidating it could be um but i would really really recommend it because i just thought it was really thought it was great and that's it i read you know one really thick book so i did not read as many books as usual but my reading was overall pretty good i surely cannot keep up what i did in january reading 15 books i think i'm probably getting more into like a sustainable rhythm with my reading but uh overall it was a pretty good month would love to hear your favorite read from february i think mine is probably a tie between love songs and open water i don't know they're pretty different i don't know which one i prefer but I would love to hear your favorite read from February. Would love to know if you're interested in reading any of the books I spoke about today. And I wanna thank you for watching and I hope that you just have a really great day. It's cold today where I am. So I hope that you snuggle up and are warm and cozy. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.